Muslim steals from you. Every Muslim that comes in here steals from you. That's right. Caught on video, a nice day at a Monroe County apple orchard took a turn when a family says the owner accused them of stealing and then went on a racist tirade against all Muslims. A Muslim family from Ann Arbor says the owner of a local orchard made those racist comments toward them, and now that family is suing Erie Orchards and Cider Mill. Our Ibrahim Samra sat down with the father and his attorney. He has the details tonight. Every Muslim that comes in here steals from you. Every Muslim yeah, that comes in here steals yeah, from you. That's right. Have you ever encountered anything like this before? Never to the extent where I was imprisoned in an orchard. I'm holding you until you pay your bill. So you're you're kidnapping me. <laughs> On Sunday, Palestinian immigrant and Ann Arbor resident Joe Mahmoud says his wife planned an outing to take him and his three girls to the Erie Orchard and Cider Mill. Was that the first time you ever went to that? Yeah, orchard? first time. And I've been to Wyarts and other orchards. I never experienced any kind of hate. You're just racist, man. You know, you just take the, uh, it's, it's just bad. But this one, I don't know. Right when I walked in there at first, like, I felt it. Felt he and his family were not welcomed, and well, after spending 70 bucks, that became more clear when the girls wanted to go back out to pick some peaches. This is the gentleman here. I, I think he's the owner. Of but the after place. getting permission and being told not to worry about the price, he said, "Don't worry about because it's all rotten peaches and stuff." Oh, wait he a said, minute. Mahmoud was faced with an unexpected problem with the owner at his car door. He opened my door, you know, without like. Knock and put your just open the door. I'm like, I found that kind of odd. So he was like, oh, where's the bag? I'm like, we're right there, passenger side four. He takes the bag, then he goes in the back seat and goes through my uh, youngest daughter's bag. He what went are you? Through the the diaper, diaper bag. bag. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, what are you doing? And that it, was in the car. In the car, with her in the car. And I felt violated. But Mahmoud in all of this stayed calm and instead offered to pay for mostly a bag full of rotten peaches until he found out it was $58. But it's what owner Steve Elzinga said next that turned a peach problem into a racist one. Every Muslim that comes in here steals from you. Every Muslim that comes in here steals from you. That's right. What was your re reaction when, that, when you heard those words come out of his mouth? First, I was like, man, this guy's sick. Like, he needs help, but... I gotta let the world know that this guy is a racist. Like I, eighty percent of your customers are Muslim back. This is your racist. Oh, of course I am. You're a racist mother. He was called a thief. You're a thief. But also, Mahmoud says the owner did not allow him to leave. Forty-five minutes of just trying to keep my family calm, and trying to you know contain this guy, telling me I can't leave. How long till they get here? The police? Yeah, a couple hours. You said you called them? I called them. Well, when are they going to come? I don't Because I got to go. I don't know. Okay. So are you holding me hostage here? I'm holding you until you pay your bill. A frightful experience. Tell me, you're threatening me. No, you I'm said, I hope, I hope these Muslims I, I don't, don't ever you. come back here. I, I don't That's want rude, here. man. I don't want them here. I'm saying, like, why would I want to spend any money with you when you say that? That has him. In that moment, how are you so patient? Because I know a lot of people in that situation probably would have lost their cool. I got three girls in the car. I got my wife in the car. I can't be stupid at that moment. You know, like, I don't know what this guy's capable of. I don't know if he has a gun. I don't know. Like, I'm in a unfamiliar place. Now filing a lawsuit with attorney Abdullah Mughni. This man said Muslims steal and you are going to pay for my rotten peaches. In turn, my client said, no, you are going to pay for your rotten actions. And that is why we're going to bring this suit. Against the very man. You never see somebody come forward and blatantly claim they're racist. This man was proud of it. And we're going to make sure that all that pride is wiped away from him. And the very cider mill, he hopes uh, to teach a lesson. It's a bad situation. Thank God we got out of it, and no one got hurt. You know, that's the main thing. But no other family should have to 
go through that. No one should have to go through that. Reporting for CBS News Detroit. I, I'm going to walk in there and tell everyone right now, don't buy anything from them. Go ahead. I'm Ibrahim Samra. We're not bad people. We're good people. Sit with a Muslim family for a day or two. That's what I suggest to them. CBS News Detroit has reached out to Erie Orchard and Cider Mill for comment. We have not heard back.